Welcome everybody to the Peasants Podcast. Join us around the fire as we talk about the game we all love. Daisy on console has progressed over the last few updates and we have seen what the community can do with the tools they have. On the podcast, we'd like to explore the world through the eyes of our guests and viewers. From streamers, server owners, console coders, and of course, the players of the game. We want to know what your experiences are like and how you think the game can be improved. Uh, our panel is made up for players from all walks of life. I'm the Greedy Peasant, a console content creator who loves to promote Daisy on console. Smiley's got a gun, our little social bug. She can be found making new friends and enemies. ADKQ, the survivalist and role play expert. Noah, our youngest member, is uh, brings the opinion of new gen gamers and how they're supporting the game. A queen peasant, the voice of the chat. Uh, she's the chat's voice to the panel. She's the one who comes and has a crack. It's our Day Z console show that we kick off every week. Uh, today we've got a guest from a very interesting server, uh, something very unique to the Day Z world. Um, our guest's name is Ignis. He's from the Feudal Age. It's a medieval server, flat out medieval. Uh, we'll talk to him about the server. It sounds absolutely hectic, uh, absolutely wicked to get involved in uh, talking about it and finding out what it's about. Uh, we're also going to touch base on the latest hotfix. I know there was a few issues that uh, spent out into the um, world where, you know, things were happening in servers that don't usually happen in servers. Uh, so we're going to touch base on that. <clears throat> also going to get opportunity for our panel and our um, chat to pop up a topic. Uh, we're going to launch the very famous zombie bowling. That's what you can see in front of us. But let's get on with the show. Yeah, I'll break it. Oh, I didn't get a gun. I didn't get a fucking gun. Oh, well. Bad luck. You're going gunless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what I was thinking. Got all caught up talking about LARPing. LARPing Morning, and stuff. Bruv. Hey, he's going. How cool does this look yeah. at night time? This is great. Oh, yeah, I like the sick. ambience. Yeah, so definitely love the I didn't the know ambience. these uh, spotlights are in the game. Though the resolution Ooh. could be a little bit better. That one's been moved. What happened to that one? Oh, that one's been moved too. Oh. We can move these? Yeah. No, but they're being shifted. I guess since between update and... I don't know. Bloody update. Were we talking about oh, new hotfix? Oh, look, you could have like go-go dances. Yeah, <laughs> did you know that? <laughs> yeah, it's just the uh, the beam of light is not quite a beam of light. It's more of a texture. But uh, we should come back to that. daytime. Pretty damn quick. Hopefully, we don't oh, know. I like this nighttime. Servers semi broken. <laughs> Updates semi broken. Welcome everybody to the podcast. Uh, firstly, let me introduce everybody. Uh, from left to right, you have our resident thug, Mr. Q, in his rider jacket. Morning, everyone. How are we? Uh, our interrogator, a.k.a. Uh, people person, Smiley's got a gun, in the police uniform. Morning, morning. Morning, everyone. Uh, in the happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. In our recently discovered tie-dyed shirt. Oh, you can see the player card. <laughs> oh, that's there, interesting. There it is there. That's cool. Everybody's, everyone's got an internal player card. Oh, that'll be interesting. But uh, Mr. Noah, our youngest member. And, uh, of course, our guest, Ignis from the Feudal Age. Welcome, welcome. Hello, folks. How's it going? They're going absolutely wicked. <clears throat> Rightio, so, 
everybody started the week off with the hot fix, hoping things would get, uh, well, I didn't find anything really broken in the update to start off with. It was a bit, it was a bit rough, but nothing really out of the ordinary. And uh, we start off the week with a few things going backwards. Um, I know, Smiley, you've got a death match. Uh, Ignis, I don't know how much it affected well, your server. Yeah. Um, any issues with the hotfix? <clears throat> yeah, you... my bodies don't despawn. No bodies despawn. My my death match server is like full of <laughs> bod dead bodies everywhere. I <laughs> bug it everywhere. It's beautiful, actually. It's a really nice thing to like see, but it doesn't really help Before, the... Well. Help the server, though. No, it doesn't perform well, mm. but it looks, it looks very pretty. I don't think the so that, hot fix problem... affected ours that much. Is that get... problem across the board with all deathmatch servers? Yep, including PC. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, including PC as well. I was wondering about that. Yeah, it's the game. Oh. Everyone's got the shares the same game, and we're all affected by those internal updates. So yours wasn't really affected, Ignis? Not at all? Not that much, but then again, I'm not I'm not the main guy responsible for like the Daisy stuff. I'm not really much in tune with that. I'm more focused on the Discord side of things for the server. Yep. Uh, I do remember uh, our owner and my friend, uh, who mainly handles all the like Daisy editor stuff and like script coding for Nitrado. He mentioned uh, some problems that it brought, uh, but I don't think it was like anything major, you know, anything game breaking. But you know, so we haven't had that many problems. Oh well, that's that's uh, you know. That's a god blessing. Uh, my particular server uh -huh. had um, all its cars wiped, its bases wiped, and its storage wiped. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, no, we haven't had anything like that to my knowledge. It's it's always a blessing when the Trotto and like Bohemia doesn't mess up everything on your server. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. But yeah, so the update affected not only us but the PC world. Uh, their death matches and stuff, they couldn't get them to despawn. Service were getting clogged. Um, did the update really help? Um, so going back from the original update, uh, in the actual files there were 70 errors in the actual files themselves. Uh, Chinaris had 70, uh, Livonia had 65. Uh, item names were wrong, um, and I think this is what's um, the big issue. Uh, we've currently got Epic, uh, who he owns a deathmatch. Epic, did your deathmatch go sideways as well? Because I know he was uh, having some issues with his server. And is it the... Is it the right move for uh, DayZ to be pumping out updates to just destroy servers? Or yeah. is it the point that they're creating it in the file system for the standard game? And because we're, we're the ones modifying it for our purposes, is it what our, how we're affected? Like even now, that yeah. it, sh it should be daylight. Like there's a p the day the, the night time is super fast on this server. But I'm looking at the moon behind Bruv, and she ain't moving real fast. <laughs> She's not really cranking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that zombie bowling at night time. <gasps> yeah, that's gonna be Ooh. hectic. Fireworks going as well. Imagine. Yep. <laughs> so, so, I mean, to be honest, with that last hotfix, I mean, before the hotfix, I didn't see too much wrong with it. Like, the game is running smoother than it has for a long time. Like, to me, it was pointless. Yeah, I but didn't... But then again, I don't, I don't code. I don't know the insides of it, so... I think they just got to put out the hotfix just to say they did something, you know, so people don't get too rowdy in, like, the forums and say, you have done nothing for the the game over this amount of time, you know? He's got to put something mm. out there to satisfy yeah. the masses. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they were trying to chase in this hotfix. Um, I haven't even had a chance to read the patch notes. Um, yeah, but it, neither. But uh. a few... Um, 
Yeah, I was just about to bring that up. What it did rebirth is a couple of the old glitches that used to occur when getting in and out of bases. Um, oh, to, I was just talking to Smiley about that. Yeah, two major, yeah. major ones. Um, both including, well, both, both of them are uh, phase style. Um, no, I don't, <clears throat> I don't, I don't mind, um, announcing what they are, but cause they need to be fixed ASAP. Um, they are to do with a couple of items and being able to phase through walls with them. There's a, a technique you can use to actually just walk straight through a wall with a particular item in your hand. So, what item, I'm, boss? Uh, I'm not going to reveal that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'll, I'll tell you later, Smiley. I'll show you how to do it. That's it. Just go, oh, yeah, go yeah. get your hippie community Sweet. together and we'll show you how to get into your yeah. base. <laughs> But oh no, it's open. We have no walls. There is so no you walls. Just... walls. <laughs> yeah. You just naturally face it as soon as you just walk over. <laughs> but, um, uh. you know what I mean? So now you're looking at multiple servers that have been affected. Um, there's now more work on the admin shoulders and the Discord people trying to keep things in order. I know a lot of the servers took out... Uh, the particular items, that's what I did. I removed the items completely. So you won't see them. Oh. Yeah, no, Mike. I didn't announce it or anything like that in case anyone had it on them. Um, well, I mean, some of the items... Yeah, no, I can't really say what they are, but... Uh, yeah, I have to start making custom loadouts. Yep. Um... It's just one of those things, and hopefully it gets patched like ASAP and it doesn't get left I think it will it'll it'll be a Hot game Fix killer should do it. yeah well are we up to hot fix three or hot fix two we only have one hot fix I was just doing the second one yeah oh, so shit, my bad. this is the first one so yeah I don't know why it went backwards um but the update itself yeah yeah that's what he picks, it's right, it's, uh, which is a, it's fucked up that it is right the way it is. I know exactly what's caused it, like, I, I can just see it, because it's one of the things that they're talking about they were trying to fix and stop yep. in the last update, Yep. and I think it's just made it ten times worse, because, <laughs> yeah. But one thing that's for certain is that, like, every hotfix, every update that, uh, Bohemia pushes out, it makes it harder and harder for, like, daisy editing to be done and, like, file management, JSONs, all that to be done on Xbox, at least. Because, uh, Bohemia hates daisy editor. Like, they hate him with a passion. They try to limit the, like, the amount of things that you can do with, uh, JSON editing on Xbox. Like, for mm -hmm. instance, for PC, you can, like, get rid of the assets that are already on the map. Uh, via script coding and on Xbox you can't do that like they don't want you messing with the base map whatsoever yeah. And you're it not, just makes it really difficult to, to like have real custom stuff I, I know it's really depressing, you know, you want to do so many cool things with the map that you're given uh, But Bohemia just doesn't let you they just don't want you to mess with it because they think it's perfect And like how how dare you would you uh, want to change it? You know, it's perfect the way it is Yeah, I would love to remove assets. I would that would be just let us do that i think that would be the um what one thing that a lot of coders would love to be able to remove trees remove you know take out the power lines yeah power lines take out the blockades along the coastal roads mm -hmm. you know they so just oh, fly yeah. out like that, that's 100 miles an hour like yeah, on our fucking server electro, for hey? do you, on our server, you could take you out had... all that stuff we had to like cover all of the car wreckages around the map in like hay bales um or at least in the map that we've walled off because you know it's a medieval server we don't want the car wreckages being exposed oh, but there's like shit. nothing we could do about the the, the hundreds and thousands yeah, of telephone cars. wire poles and oh, all that stuff i mean 
so when the server launched, we just kind of had to tell people, you know, use your imagination because there's some stuff that we couldn't make uh, fully immersive to the <laughs> medieval experience, like like uh, dishwashers and stoves and stuff being in some of the uh, buildings that we've coded in. It's like we can't do anything about it. I wish we would be able to, but we can't. <laughs> That's it. You're going back in time. Back in time, just work it yeah. out however you are. What's exactly. up, Noah? Mr. Mr. Invisible. So, um, yeah, I was just thinking, yeah, uh, wouldn't it be cool if you could, like, build an entire town on that, like, what do you call that land where the map ends? Um, oh, no man's um, land outside. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you could just build a no man's land, you know, put a road there and shit and some trees. Well, and... you used to be, you used to be able to, Noah. Yep. We used to be really? able to. Me and, me and yeah. Q know the yep. painful, painful trek of trekking 20 oh, kilometers God. out west and following a trail of buildings that you were on role players oh, oasis i remember that watch oh, yeah, I saw that. hills yeah. of hills of gold mm. and then there was an update where the tires had a problem and then they ruled out all the tires so you could then drive out there and then they completely and utterly shut down the JSON ability to build outside. So you can't actually put a JSON outside the map. You used to be able to. You used to be able to put full cities. So where the maps, like servers, where they made that? Because that sounds pretty cool, you know, just... They make don't the map exist a bit anymore. Bigger. Yeah. Because they stopped being able to go out there. Yeah, but... but did they ever exist? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Role players, <laughs> o Role players Oasis touched on it. Um, when Build Anywhere first came out, you used to be actually be able to just take, uh, you know, tents right out the map and stick them behind the hills outside the map. So rather than people putting cars and stuff on the edge of the map, they just put a car there and then walk their tent out and then place the tent right out in the middle of nowhere. So it couldn't be seen. It's a shame they take little things like that away from us, you know? Yeah, especially with the the ability to switch on and off the car damage. How do you deal with mm. the the um all the the military and that style stuff. Do you deal with the gas sickness in your server? Ooh. Sorry, what was that? Could you repeat do you, that? Do you guys have the gas in your server? Having because being a medieval server, I'm, I'm I, I suppose you're very limited to what you could actually use, as in items and oh. and base items so... to be able to. When we first launched, we tried to, like, limit as many modern items, like, in, like, the item pool as we could to, like, make the experience fully immersive. But, yeah. like, in the last update we just launched, uh, like, a week or two ago, we are slowly rolling some things back for the sake of, like, like player experience. Like, we have a suggestions thread in our Discord, and people give great suggestions there. And one of them was, like, uh, lamps, like the gas-powered uh, lanterns. Uh, you know, to, like, be in the place of, like, a, because currently the only light source we would have before that was just the torch, which, you know, it's very tedious. You have to get the rags and the sticks and the hand drill kit, which is, you know, it's medieval. Yep. But it's not very convenient. So and now our really traders are permitted to sell. <laughs> yeah, so we have the gas canisters now for the sake of lanterns, yep. uh, just so lighting's more accessible. So that's, like, an example of what we're doing to, like, sacrificing some of the immersion side of things but prioritizing gameplay and like fun over it you know yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. seems to be going very well people like it trying to get a balance yeah you know you have to w walk that fine line between uh breaking the immersion of like the medieval experience and uh you know having a good gameplay that's still core to like how daisy operates yeah true very true and that's, uh, I suppose, servers like that is where you really need that uh, asset remover. The ability to... Uh, oh, yeah, 100%. You know what I mean? Take like, that out. 
cool. I don't do coding, I don't do script coding whatsoever, but I originally thought when we were coding for the server, or when my friend was, the owner, uh, is that you would be able to just, like, spawn in, like, Daisy Editor, like, a big thing of dirt, or, like, a rock, cover a town, and then we go code in a new town on, like, a plane, you know, like, some flat land. So it's kind of, like, altering the map slightly so yep. it looks more medieval than it would but we eventually had to scrap that idea because what we found is that it would create so much lag is that the server would be unplayable and mm. it would just be a horrible experience oh, so we had to yeah. you know we had to improvise like we're keeping some existing vanilla vanilla towns in the in the game like gorka and novi sobar and starry sobar which uh our factions can buy and purchase and own as their own territory which then they can defend uh defend and attack in uh, raid weekends. Yeah, cool. Tell you what, you're uh, you must have a very good um, coding team and um, Daisy editing oh, yeah. team trying to modify the map. Uh, our head coder, uh, my friend Kanik, he's all, he's really good at his job. He put in a lot of effort. He coded in a whole uh, Roman style coliseum for a fighting arena, and we plan to host some like gladiatorial matches there. Uh, and the owner of the server himself, my friend Weary, uh, spent countless hours of his time, uh, not only after the server launched, but before it, like two weeks straight of just coding and making files for the server. It was nonstop. And uh, we were very pro uh, proud of the product that we put out there for the players. Yeah, I'm, I'm keen to go out and check it out and have a look and get investigated in. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely. More than welcome to. So, um... What are we looking at for um, the next uh, update? What would you like to see, especially from a Evil point of view? Uh, we, oh. do, we do get a lot of suggestions about, you know, apparel being the big thing. And oh yeah, we touched base last week about <clears throat> one of the um, roadmap photos looking um, in the background. You could see a ghillie with a what looks to be like a wolf head oh i didn't see that i need to see that now yeah i, I thought but that would be the biggest thing fit. especially being um a oh, medieval yeah. evil server so if you go on to the daisy roadmap um i tried to uh get some of the bigger guys to investigate it so i commented on what wobo's video to try and get him to maybe have a bit bit, bit more of a dig um, I even put the feelers out to all the contacts that I have, but nobody's nobody's opening or saying anything. Um, but no, no which shit. is quite strange. I think the only Suspicious. people that I did see bring it up was um, Survivor FM. Did she say it's small about it? But it was about it. Yeah, what well, they I... mention what they say. Just, just basically the same things we did. Looked at, looked at the photo of it. Talked about it being it looks like a wolf head, and that's about it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You know what I was thinking about that. You know, because uh, I know they they have them in PC, but uh, okay. So is that going to open the door that we can use, uh, like you know, not just with wolves, like with bears, but what about like uh, humans making those like human masks with, you know, the oh, skulls, you've seen them on? Oh, yes, please. Imagine, what? so imagine, like, yeah. Texas imagine if, Chainsaw if, Massacre mask. Yeah, they're, they're masks and they're this, they're a human skull. So you, when you, yeah, you can imagine, you could That'd cut someone sick. up and take their human, <laughs> take their that. skull and actually make a, a mask out of it so it'd be cool if it opens the door that way that anything that anything that we kill that we can really use to you know craft into create apparel out they, of yeah. like outfits and stuff that'd be super sick yeah well, exactly that's, that's... i imagine if you had chicken feathers and you could make like a uh like a head <laughs> gear. Out of chicken feathers <laughs> <laughs> well even the um even take it to the native american side and make the headdresses that they wear Oh yeah. yeah, like the chieftain, yeah, yeah like the chieftain and stuff, stuff. Like the feathers going down. Yeah, yeah, that'd be sick. sick. But that's that's yeah. the direction so cool they're, they're looking at. It does it. They're looking at um. Yeah. You know, expanding on. They definitely your, need to. On your on their apparel. Yeah, no, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, go go. Yeah, they need to 
go in a direction like less away from like the modern gear looking like i feel like the game has enough of that like paramedic outfits and like biker jackets they need to move towards like i don't know how to describe it like more like nature like or shoddy shoddy made. style clothing no shoddy shoddy, shoddy like, made dodgy like made shitty clothing yeah you know? improvised uh, uh -huh. i think that's the word that they use but yeah because it's a post-apocalyptic game after all you know that that's like the direction they should be going with the apparel and the clothing not like so much yeah, like, as like fallout clothing back, but sort of bring back creating the liver clothing and stuff like that oh yeah do you guys pour the uh, leather stuff and in? even like oh and the medieval server yeah oh yeah tons tons yeah uh, that's most your mate. of the starting gear that you say, get when you get when you join the server is a uh, leather gear and like a weird little hat but it's random so you could get hunter gear when you spawn in as well uh i'm, I'm actually very surprised of the amount of clothing diversity that we have despite the time period that we're set in yeah. but you can have some pretty sick looking outfits despite you know the limitations of the game because there's like modern outfits or like clothing items that could still pass as like medieval like uh capri pants you know they're modern clothing but you couldn't tell the difference you know like yeah, it looks yeah. like it belongs, <laughs> it belongs in the 1200s <laughs> uh-huh yep stupid ass looking pants um <laughs> yeah, they only look know, good with the like... wellies on oh now you're gonna now you're gonna get somebody stirred up they said the magic word uh-oh <laughs> um but um yeah their focus is on the uh, apparel side of it this particular roadmap um i would like to see you know the one-offs i mean we talk about it all the time brother talks about it with a wedding dress um oh yeah I where's like that wedding dress so bad where's the museum that has you know the five or six different items that are just random you know the suit the old school suit top hat cane you know that sort of you know different eras that you could go in and just have your stuff from like a museum so you can incorporate them into the game like the suit of armor the suit of armor would look a thousand times That'll better be... in a fucking museum than it would yeah. be scattered across the what do you call it mm. need more dresses really crafted from like ores you know yeah 100%. like you already have a mining system in the game not like a full like minecraft but you know you have a pickaxe go you know mine a rock smelt some more and then make some iron armor i mean it's the apocalypse you have to do with what you can you know and it only has to be dodgy yeah. just making the most crudest plates that you could possibly yeah, have. crude iron that's armor. it and it's just a big thick mm. you know it weighs you down like nothing else it can tank you know a bullet but i think the process of just being able to do that would be you know Problem a thousand is, times as we better. start doing stuff if we start doing stuff like that though does that push us too close to rust yeah or does it fall into uh, yeah i was gonna say that yeah do are we starting to get soda cans and start to make you know um you know um armor out of soda cans in fucking plate mail style <laughs> mm. you know, covered in Pepsi. Covered in Pepsi. I've got my Pepsi arm and my Coke arm and my. You just have a bunch of vodka bottles like all around your chest. You get the grenadier belt. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> like late like Fallout seventy six, you have your Nuka Cola. Uh, you yeah, cat bottles bit. and caps yeah. and stuff. But that's 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 the the leading I'm talking about. You're spending five weeks trying to put your. Um, mm -hmm. Pipsy fucking battle armor together <laughs> for somebody come in the day beforehand to rage and take it on you. <laughs> Turn up and just fire a 308 straight through it. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. <laughs> but yeah, would would like to see a little bit more of that apparel, incorporating the animals in the actual game, being able to you know fashion a a headdress out of a wolf or a bear or even the the elk having the big antlers that'd be sick oh yes holy shit yes you know that'd what i mean awesome. get the old um yeah what is the i think it's the stone cutters that have the antlers i can't remember who the 
I'm, I'm thinking way back at Fred Flintstone stage where they had the blue things with their antler things coming out of it, their little club. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine that. You could do your faction with all antlers coming out of your head. Uh, the wolf gang. Like a cult. Yeah, like a cult. You could have wolf, wolf headdresses. You could have both grey and white. The one that's on the actual, what do you call it? Now, you have to zoom in. If you go onto the road map um, yeah, and zoom in, it's the one that looks like the Beatles. So, the, the cross in the walkway, there's uh, three players and one hitting a Z. It's right in the middle, right in the background. You have to zoom right in. And what it looks like is, it's, it looks like a ghillie. You can't tell if he's wearing a ghillie outfit or... Um, a bear suit because it, it's very hard to tell um, but he's definitely wearing a white wolf hat that has its legs folded around its his chin so that would be mm. absolutely off its head if they bring that I'd like to see uh, what they'd make out of a cow <laughs> Like, you just have it, like you just we have haven't, it. we it. haven't taken a moment, people, to, the, yeah, to think about the cow. That's we've it. We've mentioned every other animal, but uh, well, we'll cow. Hey. we'll talk about the cow. Hey, look, there is. Let's talk about the bull. Do you have that big set of nuts hanging down the back of your head, <laughs> neck, yeah. or do you have it hanging down the front? No, no, that's my new water skin. <laughs> <laughs> At least it'll hold oh, a whole yes. lot. At least it'll hold a lot. A little purse, <laughs> like they do with the kangaroos yeah, over like, here. Let's see, turn them into purse. We have little purses made out of... Out of what do uh, you do to the poor kangas? Well, poor little bouncers. cut off their nuts and make, and make them into purses. No, they're pests. Oh, in some areas, see, they're pests. And you worry, you worry about us fucking kiwis and the sheep. What do you do to the poor kangaroos? I thought kangaroos, kangaroos were... Protected species. Yeah, I mean, nah, nah, no. In some spots. Really? In some spots. Yeah. In some like, spots. Like the emu. Like zoos. In zoos, they're protected. Yeah, everywhere. that's pretty <laughs> much it. You can't shoot them in zoos. Fair game. Yeah. <laughs> but some some. So places, if I go to Australia. Yeah. And I see a kangaroo on like the side of the road, I can just like square up and start like fist fighting them. Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. It will like beat your ass. It'll there fuck you go. Up, it will sure. fuck you up. It probably yeah. would. <laughs> no, <laughs> not probably. Have you seen that one video of the kangaroo like fist fighting a guy in a field and he gets like knocked on his ass? That's it. Or you see the one where the, oh, yeah. the kangaroo's trying to drag his dog into the water. Because that's what they do over oh, here. That one. Yeah, they'll, if, if roos yeah. get chased by dogs, up, they'll, no. they'll take them to a, um, a dam and just float them into the dam and then drown them. But the, he's, he's, the kangaroo's Jesus. got his dog. It's sort of holding on to it, and the dog can't get away. So he runs over and gives it, a, squares it up, and gives it a biff, gives it a punch to the face. And you see the kangaroo sort of looking at him in shock. The reason it's in shock is because you don't do that to kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, you he's lucky let it go. Yeah, yeah. Oh. he's lucky he didn't lean back and give him a double barrel because it just tears you open. Well, I've seen a picture of some kangaroos, and those motherfuckers are buff, man. They're huge. They look like they've been oh, sitting in the gym for eight hours a day. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh -huh. last time I went camping, we had a big grey, and he was probably about seven and a half foot tall. And he and he didn't care. You could walk oh. right up to him. He didn't let you touch him. But he, he wasn't like, oh, you're going to hurt me. He was like, come and touch me. And he was, he was buff, too. He was real buff. It was the it was the local alpha male. That's crazy. I, I can't fathom that you just go camping and you just casually like run into a kangaroo. Yeah, because they it's don't crazy to me. Because they American. don't care. They, they don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like sharks in the water. Then they're, they're not like, oh, there's humans over there. Mm. We'll just stay away from that. They're like, oh, can I eat it? They're more of the fact of we don't want to eat. <laughs> it. What, what is this thing? In my territory, you know. That's it. Well, yeah. to them, they're like, look at these, like, look at this skinny ass looking fleshy thing. I just lean back and double barrel think this a couple of meters away should be right. So they're, they're not really, really fast. They're not really fast. They're good little things. Yes, Noah. Hey. Have you guys ever eaten a kangaroo? Yes. I kind of want to eat I one. 
I know, and I did not want to have a kangaroo schnitzel. No. <laughs> what do you have? Schnitzel. Yeah, I've eaten roux. There's a uh, restaurant. There's a restaurant in New Zealand, and they sell mm. all exotic type of burgers. Oh. And like kangaroo, I think there's crocodile, there's emu, it's like real weird shit burgers. It's not bad. An emu burger. Oh my. God. Yeah, emu. I'm getting like chills hearing about that. It's like, yeah, it just, it just tastes like it's very gamey. <laughs> it's very strong tasting very meat. Very gamey. Yeah, very strong tasting yeah. meat. Like yeah, I've, I've I've had roux, crocodile, snake, emu. I think that's all the animals I've yeah, eaten. Steve yeah, Irwin yeah, over thing, here. <laughs> no. I've got one thing in my life that has to be eaten before I die, and I know it's really bad, but I so want to know what a kiwi tastes like. Those little fuckers are going to be delicious like chicken. <laughs> a the kiwi. kiwi. Like the bird. What? Like the, the bird little kiwi, kiwi bird. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He's from yeah. New Zealand, so. Like a bin chicken. Yeah. yeah like, they're like, yeah, yeah, not, like a rite of passage but, to know? live in New Zealand. <laughs> you have to eat it. Like to gain your... New oh, Zealand no, oh, no, citizenship, no. you have to eat a kiwi bird. Yep. If I, if I eat a kiwi, I'll probably get kicked out of New Zealand. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're protected. <laughs> get your ass out of here, go back to Australia. Yeah, they're protected. <laughs> I would like to eat a dodo, but these fucking bastards fucking died out fucking... I don't know. Blame the Dutch. Yeah, you're too late on that one. 100%. Like everything, we, we blame already, the Dutch. We ate them all. The Dutch, that's it. Blame the other half. She's Dutch. Oh. Uh. All right. Well, actually, speaking of yeah, birds, uh, we did have, um, there was, like, a couple of months ago, I don't know if you saw that, bruv, of the gentleman who uh, ate a bin chicken. Uh, got, he was, you know, got in trouble. He bin chicken and he got in trouble. But that was the funny thing was, uh, like, we're all like, ooh, ah, oh, you know. And he's like, and because he was from a different country, so that was my uh, my first jump. My My first assumption was that, Okay, from his country, you know, you see an animal, you eat like, like that, and, and we call them bin chickens. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, he's probably thinking, oh, it's chicken, okay, I'll eat oh. it. <laughs> what the fuck is um, a bin chicken? It's an ibis. It's a bird, it's an yeah, ibis. it's an ibis. It's the and, white bird uh, with a really long front beak that's curved. Long yeah, they just call bin chickens because like they, they're some they, like they're in the city and they basically just sit there and eat out of bin. <laughs> um, but <laughs> like a shitty version of a raccoon. Yeah, it's our, yeah. It's our raccoon. Yeah. Yep. yeah, that's our raccoon. There you go. Our, yep. Yeah. In a bird version. In a bird. But the funny thing was, he said, he goes, "Where I'm from, you can do this." Yep. And, and I was, and everyone was like, "Oh," but he said. No, I mean, I recently moved from Queensland to New South Wales. In Queensland, you can do it. So he got off. They let him off yep. because of that. Because you can eat them uh, in Queensland. Yeah, so at very state in Queensland, you can eat a bin chicken. There you go. Fun fact. Like eating raccoons. Would yeah. you eat a raccoon? <laughs> I don't know. What, what, what. <laughs> Would you eat a bin No, those things are nasty. You don't want to eat them. Yeah. So I don't know, man. I'll try everything once. Yeah, see, I'm like that, Q. Oh, Jesus. Q, you just eat once. anything, man. No, but I try I live in once. California, so if you so much as fire a BB gun, you'll have the National Guard at your doorstep. So if I go outside and try to shoot a raccoon as it's going in my bin, I'll have, like, I'll have the everything on me. I'll have the <laughs> army, <laughs> the navy, everyone. everybody will be outside my doorstep. Yeah, they'll be right there in, like, minutes. Well, the question is, <laughs> what animal in DayZ would you like to see that you would eat on a regular... <laughs> like what, in real uh, life? No, 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 like... no. Like in the game, what, oh, what yeah, animal would you like to see? Would you like to see oh, bin chickens? Oh. I'd like to be able to shoot It'd birds out of the sky. Yep. Yes. I think they should add the dodo bird as like an April Fool's update. <laughs> you just, oh my god! Be wandering yes. around, like making stupid noises. That'd be <laughs> great. Jumping off a cliff. You just just go up to it, whack it on the head of a club, and eat it. <laughs> It may, I mean, I reckon a kangaroo, like the way that they hop and bounce around, like the, they zigzag when they, you know, hop and like, imagine like you're trying you know, to get it, like trying to out. shoot it. Yeah, trying to shoot it and it could come up. It's and like, just, like dodging your bullets you side to side. Stuff. Yeah. Right, that's yeah. Even socks you in the mouth. Yeah, a kangaroo in, I don't know, fucking Russia, Poland or whatever, wherever fucking Tirana is. Yeah. Russia, that's Poland. It. Well. It could be imported and it was in a zoo and it escaped. But it's, you know. 
I don't oh, think Chinaris would have that much money to have a zoo in its country. Well, that's the other thing. Yeah. If 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 they incorporate a new map, should they put in like a zoo, and then you have the ability to put every exotic animal you want in? <sighs> Imagine. So just a bunch and if of you go to the zoo, snakes. you can let them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just oh. Always incorporate oh, Aussies and snakes. And bears. Oh my! That's it. There's nothing to worry about with snakes. They're just no-no ropes. That's it. New, new raiding tactic: You release a bag of snakes. A, 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 you just a like throw it over in a bag <laughs> yeah. on the wall, and you just like fan out, start biting people. That's Imagine the, being able yeah, to like skin a snake and make like a belt out of like the, See? the skin. That's what That'd I'm talking awesome. about. That's cool. Yeah, or yeah. And then, like snake meat you can roast. Or can, for the, like, the the people in the US, the crocodiles, or the alligators, get the alligator shoes going, alligators. and the alligator belt. Do they have them in, swamp in Russia? Any alligators or, or anything in, in Russia or, or not? In Maybe probably in like a zoo. Yeah, like not... Moscow Zoo probably. That's what I mean, incorporate a zoo into any map, you can add any animal. There you go. It gives you the freedom to do so. Yeah. About it not making sense. Except like, why do we have a polar bear just wandering around in the forest? <laughs> That's it. He escaped, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> he escaped. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's a very interesting little run through. Be good if they uh, um, start incorporating stuff like that. A merge route, but yeah, definitely. It does look like they are moving into the apparel world. The, the call has been put out. We want more clothing. We want to be able to craft clothing. More, so more medieval clothing. More medieval clothing. Like armor and stuff. But e even the wolf heads and and that sort of stuff. Oh, and, yeah. and you know, bear gillies would be spot on for you. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be Make sick. Like a, like yeah, because like more clans. Out of like the bear so hide. many. Yeah, and there's like, because factions are such a massive thing with this game, like massive, mm -hmm. it, and everyone likes to have that, um, you know, to feel like they're part of something and be recognised for that, you know, so to have clans or yeah. factions, you know, being like bears or... The bear <laughs> cannibals know, like said, of the woods. The, yeah, or having your antlers or... Even like a, you know, a pig skull mask, you know, and having like, being able to have like, you know, the snout and everything, yeah, or uh, I don't know, just, yeah, being, being able, able to utilise that. Every animal, really. That. Like, what's wrong with having just a yeah. dead chicken on your head? Exactly. Nothing <laughs> You just have it mounted to your chest. <laughs> <laughs> on your shoulder. Like facing out towards the enemy. Like, like a pirate, and a, like a parrot on a pirate. <laughs> got a dead chicken stuffed and <laughs> mounted on your shoulder. <laughs> oh, the weird world. Actually, day, be able to use the chicken fillets in your bra. <laughs> yeah, big tits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are they heading that way? Do they head into the underwear and um, and uh, negligee um, run? So you can run down there a little lacy <laughs> number down the main aisle of, uh, you know, Chinaris. Yeah, yeah. It socks. Rather than the old tannies that we all wear. <laughs> socks would be cool. Yeah, you can yeah. stuff your pants socks. and your and your bra, pants and bra with socks. It works for both, no. both uh, male I'm, and female. I'm just more talking benefits. the RP How style, people... being able to take off your shoes and put socks on and just be walking around your house like, don't put my... Get your shoes out of my house. <laughs> Not only that, but how many Oof. people's feet must reek in the apocalypse, man? No one's wearing socks. Yeah. They're running for miles. <laughs> Blisters on your feet as well. That's like, why I wear oh, sneakers. Yeah. They're more Not just their feet, but like their whole body. Like, how do you get clean and just go into a river that's like irradiated or has like zombie <laughs> flesh in it? It's like, ugh. <laughs> you just don't get clean in the apocalypse. You're just nasty all the time. That's what the the ocean's for. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Yes. Yeah, so, um. Um. Like a thing that would be very cool is like when you have the raincoat that you could wear it over a shirt or something. It doesn't really make sense just to wear a raincoat with, with no shirt on. Yeah. Maybe, layering. So, you yeah. just want to layer clothes. Yeah. But, but then it's should the raincoat a... become yeah. a vest? And then you get a hundred percent water protection. No, but that's what I'm talking about. That's how that would 
you could incorporate that. Your shirt jacket would be on, but then it would go over the top as your vest. Because now you're talking you about a third layer. Yeah, you, you, you have like uh, a thing in, in the rain code where you can put your jacket or something and then put it on, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, it's got its own inventory slot. And, yeah, you, and you put some your jacket of into it and then put it in the... Uh, so it's got no storage except for what your jacket's got. Might work. Might work. Yeah. Not a bad That's idea. Yeah. And tie-dyed shirts. Definitely tie-dyed shirts. Tie-dyed pants, please, so... We can have Noah look almost completely invisible. <laughs> That's why his tops. That's he's wearing a tie-dyed shirt. It's not in the in the game. It's um. Oh, and uh, those hats. You know the hats. Uh, you know that came out. I don't know. Update. Uh, two will go. The ones that wrap around your face. You know yeah, those ones. I the call ones... them nappies. So they look like those. The OK yeah. ZK cap. I think is what you're talking about. Yeah. Where it like covers yeah. your chin mm. and like leaves your mm. eyes. Yeah, so imagine having that, like you, if you had the tie-dye, that, shirt, and pants, and then you just see these eyes. <laughs> yeah, see, that'd be cool. You put on, like, the carnival <laughs> mask, <laughs> so it's literally just your pupils. You can't even oh. see, like, your, the rest of your eye. 100%. Yeah. Just you know, wear a different face. Great A creepy. That's it. Yeah, wear a different face. Wear a different face. Yeah, Shane. <laughs> yeah, Greedy's about to have a server just full of Cheyennes. Yep, 100%. Cheyenne Fest. Watch it crash it. <laughs> Stay the way with your Cheyenne face, man. That's it. Uh, Coming for you, Q. You're going to be fast. Yeah. Alright, we're going to move to the halftime show. We're about halfway oh, through the show. Awesome yeah. So, fuck yeah. Mr. Ignis, if you. What we do for our halftime show, if you want to drop your gear in a corner. Uh, and no, go no. back right That's how it always starts. Yep. Um, <laughs> all we're going to do is we'll get Just you to relax. respawn. Just go with it. And uh, you'll be versing Noah. That's good. So all you need to do is um, grab a car that's up at Radio Zenit, drive it down our little... Um, wow. Stairway to heaven here. Stairway to heaven, and then try and take out as many Zeds as possible. As you can see, night time. So you want me to go over there as... now and just <coughs> get in and drive? Yeah, so we're, we're going to get in position, and um, you've got three cars you've got, or three attempts off the actual... Um, who, all right, who took the... Uh, I need the orange... Uh, Ah, oh, the, the pump it's up here. Yeah, it's up as long here. Where did the car spawn? Come bring it to you. Uh, the cars will spawn up at Radio Zenit. So what you do is you, uh, no, no, you just will kill you. That's why you leave oh. your gear oh. here. Ah! Uh, you will respawn uh. up the top, and then you come I'm flying for your down. Glow stick. Now all the Zeds I are on top that. of the platforms. So the idea is you launch your yeah, car that, yeah. onto the platforms, and then try and take out as many Zeds as possible. I'm ready for the shooting. Do you got some MVGs, oh. Don? Uh, I brought MVGs. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah, if you got any. Ah, uh, alright. I'll just grab it when I'm up there. Are there any no! plants? This is oh, actually going to be funny because we're not going to be able to see the cars until they're like on top of us, so it's like, going to be. Oh. Oh, he goes on! They look so bad! Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, Ig's next. That looked amazing. That looks so okay. good. Oh, we still right, going. Q, get back <laughs> here. Get back here. Yeah, you're not allowed to move, Q, you pussy. That's it. It's the knock. Yeah, Come straight down the road, Ig. Yep, straight down the road and launch that it. That looks fast so as cool. You can. Here he comes. That's oh, here it. he comes. I can see the lights. This looks sick. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh uh, that would hurt. <laughs> yeah. I haven't got a gun, so I can't, I can't off him. I do have, I wonder if the flashbang will finish him off. 
That's it. Have to come around. still going. Too. Yep, that was it. Hold on! Oh, I yep. think someone killed I think he's me. Gone. I don't know what's happening. I can't see and I'm stuck. I don't have a okay. gun. Bob didn't bring a gun. Uh, yeah. Did they run over Q? I can't see where my. Smiley's got no gun. Smiley's out of bullets. Ah, oh, come on! I, I I can't see. I don't know what's going on. I'm I'm stuck or something. Mr. MMO Gaming, hello, good sir. Just in the middle of our. Thank you for the booties. Where's Q? I think he died. I ran him over. <laughs> Did you? Oh, that's yeah. funny. Hang on, I'll I'll come over. Please help me. I'm trying to find where you are. He's um, over there. Yeah, are you thing. up to the top still, or do you? Where oh, did you go? Know. Okay. Are you down there? He's okay, down I'm there. Coming. Yeah. Oh, he looks like he's half in the ground. Boop again. I'm behind you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, you're upside down. Can't I don't know what to shit. do here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna flashbang yeah. you. Didn't work. Uh, there you go. Ignis on round two. Okay. It's only giving me. Oh, I'll try Steer. and push it. Steer to the side. Steer to the side. Take the side. Steer to the side. Oh. Oh, my <laughs> God. Are you out, Noah? Are you out? Uh, you stay there, I'll take care of you. Okay. Oh, can you kill me? Uh, yeah. Hey, give me a glow stick. Uh, so, you know peasant. what? It's funny how... Bodies won't despawn on servers, but then when I want to come back to mine, it's despawned. Bloody game. Oh, really? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I was. I, I got. I got the other. Um, I, not everyone got the the um the, the glitches. They were handed out separately. Some people lost all their shit. Some people got bodies despawn problems. Daisy was spreading Depend the love. Yeah, it depended on uh, the strength of your server, what it, what your server actually was all about. It took that away from it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's it. Whatever it was the key feature, it decided no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Santa. All right, so this may be Noah round two. And Ignis has got round three. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no, they're still Why alive. They're backing now... out. Yeah. I'm now Noah. Really? Oh, you are too. Okay. He's going to be pissed that you stole his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> So you keep murdering me with your car. Here you go. Oh, to be fair. Oh, oh that's your cue again. Oh. oh. Ow. Ow. Well, that hurt. That one looked like nasty. Och, meine Fresse. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Suck it. I think that's... 
I think they got one more each. We'll give Eaglet one more, and we'll give Noah's got last one. I think that flash was pretty good, just saying. Yeah, that timing sounded great. On the money. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. This is our last runners. Oh. Oh shit, it's coming this way. No, I'm good. Oh. 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 Jesus, that just missed me down here. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, Egg's got one more. That one was really close. Really close. Let's get down here. If that was Ignis, he, uh, you can see, like, they get better and better the more that they do. Yeah, that's get him in for a round two. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Looks like we've got lights coming down. This will be our last run, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we've got to oh, jewel up. They've veered off a bit, have they? There's two of them. We don't know who's who. Oh, here they... Oh, that one oh, behind's gonna smack it's gone. It. That's, gonna That's so the last fast. one. Last one. Oh. <laughs> so close. All right. Well, that's our Zed bowling done and dusted again. I have returned. Welcome back. How did you enjoy that little adventure? You guys like uh, the, yeah, the yeah. Tokyo Drift music? Yeah, the music pumping into it as well. Oh, I was like, that... that's very impressive. Is that what it was from? It confused you. <laughs> the medieval guys playing futuristic music. Yeah, I'm breaking the, the time barrier here. That's it. It's going back in time. <laughs> Driving cars and all. When you the, on my first run, I was actually I'm watching the Twitch stream as I was doing it. When you threw the flashbang down at me, I was already dead. I don't know if you knew that. Oh, you were. No, we'll okay. just make yeah, when sure. you land on the bottom down here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this was his car right here, wasn't actually, it? Actually. Yeah, this one right here. Oh, there he is. I was already right dead. There. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have a little snoozy. Little is is Noah back here? Oh, not yet. Yeah. No. I, yeah. What? Here you are. Ow. Wins one. That's it. Noah's got the... Is now oh, with a fedora. Oh, Noah's got his clothes back on. No, he's got a fedora on. Yeah, I came, oh, I came with his clothes. clothes back. Uh, I got paid for him. Hey, does anyone have a knife? Now, Ignis, at the end of the podcast, it turns into a, a stage purge where we just murder everyone. Uh... So you Makes may, sense. You may want I'm to... under-equipped then. I have a pitchfork. Yeah. Uh, what would you prefer? Crossbow <laughs> or Mosin? As much as I love uh, the medieval crossbow, I'd have to go with the Mosin. That's a smart man. <laughs> there you go. There might be some more ammo in the cars, because it usually only takes a little biff. Get yourself a Mosin. Oh, thank you, thank you. Look at me, smiley. So, at the next little stage of our show is we merge onto the co-host takeover. This is where our co-hosts get to take the spotlight and um, get to ask our guests a few questions, delve into the world. So, we'll allow you guys to take it over. Preach. We, uh, uh, we were actually just going to expand on what you were talking about with, like... Uh... <clears throat> phasing into to walls. So Q, you want to yes. kick, kick her off with your with your question? All right. So, so we know that the phasings come back, which is shitty as.
but there's always many other ways to, to get through walls and to, to basically cheat the game if you wanted to. So things like fireplace stacking and and uh, using cars and garden plots. Garden plot how, boosting, how, yeah. yeah. So how is it you combat that on your server? Well, what we do uh, primarily is, well, we have it logged in the Trotto through our Discord that we used in the Trotto.dev bot, very good bot. And uh, it logs when uh, garden plots get placed as well as fireplaces and stuff, so we can prevent like boosting and such. Uh, and for like notable things, like for instance, our admin base is actually a castle, you know, very fitting. Uh, and we have a radar set up, so if anyone were to try to boost into it, we would, you know, get a notification like, hey, this guy's entered the parameter of the base, so we can, like, you know, make sure that the loot spawned in there that's not very medieval. Like, for instance, our admins get access to explosives for raiding and admin purposes, and uh, AKs, so we don't want those falling into the hands of the, the masses. So we have the radar set up to make sure anybody that comes into the base gets pinged and marked so we know who's coming in and out. Uh, and we have the other logs to know who's placing uh, fireplaces and garden plots to make sure they're not boosting into bases. Oh, what's yes. the what's the most interesting um, what's the most interesting thing that you've seen on your server so far? I know that you said you've only had it open for a few months, but have you had anything like creative that people have tried, like with uh, ch just cheats in general? Well, not in the realm of cheating. Um, our player base, you know, they're, they're pretty rowdy, but they're not very, like, the cheating type. Uh, but one of the most creative things I saw was the other the other week, there was a raid on uh, the capital castle of one of our factions called the the Empire of Rorka. It's like uh, Castle Rog, if you know where that is, and Gorka. They basically had a baby, and it's Rorka. And <laughs> it was raided by a faction known as the Knights of Our Lord Jesus Christ, which is basically the Templars, the Templar Knights. And... There's, I don't know how to describe it to you very much, but there's two rings of the castle. You know, there's the first ring that has, like, one gatehouse where you enter, and the second one, they use explosives to get into the first one, and they were out of explosives, so they actually constructed a siege tower out of a watchtower to boost into the base uh, during the raid, and were able to take <gasps> the castle by doing that, which is an actual, like, really? tactic that was used in medieval warfare. Yeah, they built a watchtower uh, under combat conditions and they boosted over the walls into the castle the second ring of the gatehouses and they took the castle and that was very interesting Holy to see as like an admin shit. perspective oh you got to watch yeah, it very how very cool creative was that then so it wasn't it was only one one story tall but the tricky part was is the defenders they built the gatehouse because per our rules you can only have one gate in the gatehouse to make it fair for uh, attackers um, but because they didn't have an explosives, they had to get creative, and the defenders placed a tent to block boosting, so they kind of had to, like, maneuver around the tent and build a watchtower. But theoretically, you could make a watchtower up to, like, the height limit and fully boost over the walls, though I wouldn't know how you wouldn't die from, like, a fall damager breaking your leg, and then you just get pelted with crossbow bolts. But it's something you could do. I haven't seen it yet, but probably in the future. That's oh. sick. I'm actually quite surprised. Yeah, that's awesome. And your, and your server with the raiding. Sorry, sorry. I was just a little bit intrigued. Why you guys use explosives and don't just go full medieval and just so, them like sledges? That's what we wanted to do. Originally, when we started this server, what we wanted to do is the original rule that we had in place was before the raid would to begin is the uh, defenders had to flip their walls, basically. So, like, you know, the inner side that you can like dismantle oh. from was facing the yeah, yeah. attacking side so the idea was is that the attackers could like hatch it their way into the defenses but what we found out oh, via com cool. uh, player complaints because we try to listen to our player base as much as possible is that they really didn't like that idea so what they would rather have is which is the current system now is the admins which have access to explosives bring the explosives to the raid leader and then they are responsible for using the explosives to blow into the base um we really wanted to try and keep it as like medieval as possible like you only using hatchets and like watch towers to boost into the bases but the player base didn't go for it so we had to make some compromises for the sake of uh, gameplay yeah yeah well I'll get that. I, i'm not like like a big historian i'm not one of these peeps that get into it so i'm going to plead ignorant here but wouldn't they have had some form of like explosives back then 
or not? So, no, I think I think they need mm. like pitch and tar, and then they use not like trivies really. and stuff like that. Like in flame Europe, balls and stuff, don't they? In yeah. Europe, at least, uh, gunpowder didn't really become readily used for like military purposes until like the early 1400s, late 1300s. Uh, it was used in China as far back as like 100 AD. Uh, that's where you know gunpowder oh. was discovered. They had rockets invented, all of that. Uh, but you didn't really see uh, gunpowder, like cannons or explosives, used in like siege warfare until like the 1400s. Which, if you if you know the fall of Constantinople, I'm sorry, I'm like geeking, but it's like answering no, your question. No, go ah. ahead. It's the, good. It's the, interesting. The fall of Constantinople when it was taken by the Ottomans. It was used. Uh, um, they used big bombards, which are basically primitive cannons. And they use that to bring down the walls of Constantinople. And uh, oh. we're yep. we're thinking about like moving the time forward to like the 1400s, like ish, like fall of the Byzantine Empire era. And we we've got suggestions for it. We we're we're gonna put a poll up and see what people think. But a suggestion that we got recently was using sawed-off BKs as like arquebuses, which if you don't know what those are, they're like matchlock. Mm muskets like very very primitive early muskets and because they're you know, not that accurate very low ammo you know it would be closest similar thing. to um how last az mods has a pirate server and he uses mm -hmm. a lot of the sawn off guns and stuff like that as a provide for muskets and stuff mm -hmm. i would love to see bohemia bring out like muskets like uh gunpowder oh, yeah. based weaponry like like maybe like uh you know the yoka from uh russ you can craft something like that like a crude primitive weapon that you can just make out of like gunpowder or like leftover Throw scrap nails or something in the barrel, like that so, like nails it. in the oh, barrel yeah. well, i think there's a yeah, pc awesome. mod uh sorry to interrupt that they use the pipe they use the pipe as a shotgun really yeah so it's a pipe uh improvised shotgun That's cool. and they use the pipe and I don't know how they run the mechanic, but you can put I it wish. into your server, and I think you light the end of it, and it just explodes one shot, and then you take the process oh, of rearming it. Because the first like <sighs> guns that were in Europe were uh, there; they weren't really guns, but more or less it was gunpowder charges placed on the end end of uh, large pikes. And so when you would stab into somebody, they would explode, and you could imagine how that would go. <laughs> and that was kind of like the first point. Yeah, I'm being serious. Google it. Google yeah. it. Historical facts. Oh, I love that. That's so brutal. <laughs> I, I would <laughs> love <laughs> if, um, uh, <laughs> yeah. if, like, Bohemia would to start transitioning mods, or at least provide more, like, abilities for JSON and, like, script coding, daisy editing for Xbox, because they're doing it with Armory Forger, another Bohemia game on Xbox. There's yep. a ton of mods for that game. I play it often. Yep. Um, and I hope that they take the lessons learned from Armory Forger and they adapt it over to DayZ because PC has a ton of mods for DayZ. They have a bunch of medieval mods. They even have a horse mod where you can ride horses. Yeah. And I've seen a bunch of really, really good medieval roleplay servers on PC. But you can't really replicate the experience to that extent on Xbox because of the lack of mods and uh, of the ability to tweak with the script coding as much as you can on PC. It's really unfortunate. Mm. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, actually, you know, what popped into my head, you guys ever seen that, you know, that movie, uh, Evil Dead? And I think yep. it's like the third one, A Dark Army, is it yeah, called? Yeah, The Dark Army, uh, yeah. Yeah, I just got a flash of that, like, you know. <laughs> now I let, feel left out because I haven't heard of it. Oh, you got to watch uh, it. Oh, it's oh, oh, like, you got to watch Evil Dead. Yeah, Evil what is well, it about? Yeah. Uh, well, um, it's, it, well, the, they the get, the first one's like a dark... Yeah, it's like a <laughs> it's a horror, but in the third one it sort of oh, gets yeah. a little bit bizarre where he time travels back, uh, but he time travels <laughs> yeah. and he's got his um he's got his shotgun, and they're all like, "What is this? Because this is my boomstick." Yeah, you would have heard you <laughs> like, would have heard oh, that quote. He's like this god. My boomstick. Yeah, must you heard boomstick. Cold line. Yeah. Yep, good old. Evil and he also dead. has a chainsaw that he he straps onto his hand that yep. he cut off. He cut off because yeah. he got possessed. It's good shit. I'll check it out. What is yeah. it called? Evil Dead. Evil Dead. Oh, the, have, this yeah. one that we're no. talking about. If you yeah. Can, you have to go the, back. The dark army. Not the new Evil Dead. You have to watch them all. Yeah, it's the old Evil Dead all with right. Bruce Campbell. Oh, yeah. all right. Yeah, I'll not, not the sure. new one. The new one's just fuck me dead. But anyway, graphics yeah. these days. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> these days. Watch, watch the first three original. 
first three original Evil Deads. Is it on Prime yeah. or Netflix, do you know? Or actually, no, it'd probably be different. It'd probably like, be on from, YouTube. Uh, UK and and like, like, so. You'll probably have to find it on States. YouTube. It's that old. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 I think the first oh, probably one got came to be out about 25 years like... old. Oh, wow. Oh, the first one, I think, came I'm... out in, like, 82, yeah. maybe, around then. And then the second one was probably mid-80s. And then the last one, I think, was 90s, uh, like, in, the, in that series, in the original series. Yeah. But uh, the one that I'm referring to is uh, the third one is uh, Dark Army. But you have to see, yeah, you have to watch the first and the second. I will to check it out, definitely. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's a good time. Yeah, it's great. Great, great show. And that was uh, movie reviews of Smiley. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, yeah. Well, we might add that in every week. <laughs> no, Let's add that in. Let's do a movie nice review. Nice little subsection. <laughs> but but yeah. she's right because it's it's this is how you lead into server discovery, server de uh, development. You see different um, aspects from movies and stuff, and try and incorporate them into your server. Mm. And people, oh, that's, yeah. that's where 100%. people get the flavour from. They're like, oh, like Bruv said, oh, this is like Bruce Campbell's Army of Darkness. You know, you got that undead side yeah. with the medieval side. It, you sound like my, uh, you sound like my Ooh. friend who I started yeah. the server with. Like, we come from uh, Milsom's, like on Red Dead and GTA. Yeah, nice. And uh, what a lot of things he'd tell me is like, hey, if you want to get in the mood for like whatever Milsom we were doing, uh, just go watch a film like related to it. Like, for instance, we ran a. Um, a Milsom with a close friend of mine named uh, Baby Cakes on Red Dead Redemption 2 and it was about like the first Royal Dragoons like the actual military unit and he's like go watch The Patriot you know <laughs> yeah. or go watch uh, go 55 Days at Peking you dances know? With just wolves. get in the mood <laughs> yeah get in the mood of like the theme you know and, it, and, it, and he's right you know it gets you in the mood to do whatever you're like playing or role playing on the game because you've seen it on the big screen yeah 100% yeah, 100% definitely. What's up now, far away? You yeah, just wanted to ask for your Discord, you know? Oh, my Discord? Uh, it yeah. ping me in oh, the main cool. chat. Uh, it's X Ignis Equis. Gr All Greedy will put it in there. Usually puts yeah. it in yeah, the chat in the next section anyway. It in the so uh, I'm, I'm, it'll, I'm it'll... waiting for the owner to uh, fill out his channel so I can steal all his links. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll, I'll, do yeah. I'll do that soon. That's gonna be hint, the first hint. thing I do after hint, this, hint, and then I'm gonna like, hint, collapse. Nudge. Yeah, yeah. There's the man there. Keep, I, I'm gonna be real with you. For like the first 20 minutes before I got on to attend this, I took like a power nap because I'm so tired. Yeah, it's already a bit of late for you. Having a good time. Having a good time living. Yeah, you know, no. Put some caffeine enough. in my yeah, body. Yeah. We're all good to go. Well, no gamers sleep on the weekend. That's They're all it. running on like four hours. Two I think. hours. <laughs> there you go. Four yeah. hours all week. Yeah, no one's no one slept here. Yeah, uh, don't worry, we're all the same. But I'm I'm gonna continue from where <laughs> the co-host took over because they uh, they got right into the the server um, rundown. So uh, my question to you is, yeah. uh, what what? What was the actual inspiration to start the server? Like, what so, made you go, let's stop sound... doing meal sim, let's mm -hmm. do medieval? So, I've been playing DayZ for a long time, like, when roleplay was in its infancy, at least on Xbox. And uh, the last, like, meal sim experience we had on this game was on a server called Conflict uh, Russo-Ukrainian War. And I swear this ties in. But basically, we had a base, right? And they coded in chainmail medieval gear just as you know just for what did shits and gigs and um while everybody else was offline me and the owner and a couple other of our friends that were in the milsom we were just dicking around with the chainmail gear and we're like we thought to ourselves why would it would it be it would be so cool if we just you know made this into a service and we started brainstorming it uh it's real funny actually because the owner of this server my friend uh weary didn't even want to play the game until I convinced him <laughs> to, you know, play the game. And then within a week of him going from, I don't want to play the game, to I'm now going to buy Daisy Editor on my computer and learn how to code, he then spent the last month before we launched learning how to script code, learning how to use Daisy Editor, and that brought us to this server. Uh, but ultimately... Oh, the good on him. The, yeah, no, he's he learned so much in such a short span of time, he's great. Um, yeah. But the real inspiration for the server is that we just love history. We love medieval history. Uh, we love the 
uh, Mountain Blade series, Bannerlord and Warbands, and actually a lot of the systems, I don't know if any of you guys have played those games, have you? Like Mountain Blade, Bannerlord, or Warband? Nope. Yeah, mm. No, but it's stuck on this one the last seven years. We don't own any other games. <laughs> this is, we only own this game. We thought there was only one game. Yeah, only, yeah, only Daisy on that. Yeah, other games? What? <laughs> But a lot of the systems for like thief uh, or like town ownership and stuff, we took from the uh, Mountain Blade series and we adapted it to DayZ and like raiding systems and all yeah, of that. Nice. So ultimately, the inspiration for the server comes from our, you know, our love of history yep. uh, and you know our love of DayZ. You know, we want to incorporate best of both worlds and see what we can do with the limitations on Xbox. Are you uh, tabletop gamers? Sorry? Are you tabletop gamers like Dungeons and Dragons, that sort of line? Oh. That sort no, of no. No, I'm not. I don't know about where he may have a secret like D and D life I don't know about, but to my recollection, no. No, that's uh, Yeah, that, that's quite bizarre because a lot of role players that I've met that, that are deep into their role play usually come from a D and D background. Yeah, or LARPing. Oh, I, it's yeah, LARPing. Or LARPing? It, yeah, LARPing, LARPing is it live yeah. action yeah. role play? Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, I never really gotten much into like the whole tabletop LARPing experience. I'm more of left, just as stuck to like online, like games, yep. like GTA and Red Dead and Daisy and sort of that. Like, cause Milsom is sort of like that, you know, military simulation. It's like half RP, half PVP. You know, it depends what game you're on. Yep. Uh, but over the past couple of years of being on daisy primarily i've really moved heavily towards uh less from like milsom which i've left been doing that for years and more towards just full rp communities on like daisy and uh gta oh yeah even touch a base on the gta so you guys just get into that full milsim style it's not a very um uh very popular style the old milsim i don't think a oh, lot no. of people understand you know what people are treated they think you know you just spend your time marching up and down the streets and pretending you're toy soldiers mm -hmm. but it's a lot more in depth and well, a lot more um, oh yeah a lot more uh detail involved in it i'll, I'll tell you what the gta milsom community from back in my day like 2018 when i got into milsom on GTA, it was so toxic. I've been DDoSed and like my IP pulled and booted offline so many times from that community. And same from Red Dead as well. It's like a really, really toxic community, but then you meet the nicest people. Like Weary, the person I started the server with, I met from Milsom God knows how many years ago. Like seven years ago. Uh, like my core friends on Xbox, I have met through Milsom on like a GTA and Red Dead and Battlefield. Uh, that I'm actually in a party with right now that are watching this stream. So yeah, nice. it's like, the, despite the toxic side of the community, you really meet like l lifelong friends and, and comrades from it. So they're in the military or in the milsim style. It's, it's a a little bit more rough than it is in other particular mm -hmm. groups. And well, then, at least on GTA and Red Dead, yep. it's a half mix of like role play. Like you know, you're sort of like role playing. Like you're not like a soldier. But, you know, you're, like, RPing, like, the military rigidness, like, the structure and the uniforms and that's the battle, sir, yes, sir, so no, that's sir. That's battle-hardened like, people. Battle-hardened, but then it's also PvP, um, like, incorporate. Do you guys, I don't know if you touch with GTA that much, but do you remember the whole craze of, like, the green versus purple alien thing yep. on GTA? Did you yep. hear about that back in 2020? Yep. At that time... I was in a milsom called DSFO, and we did a whole thing like based off a of Halo, where we would go into public lobbies and we would just murder anybody wearing an alien suit, and we did that for a couple hours just <laughs> nonstop. And then, and I remember like before we went into battle, like metaphorically, like we were waiting in a private lobby to go to a public session to just attack people. Um, we just I played the Sergeant Johnson quote from a uh, Halo. If you know the one I'm talking about, dear humanity, we regret being alien bastards. We regret coming to Earth, and we most certainly regret that the cords blew up our raggedy ass fleet. <laughs> Ooh, rah. And we fucking <laughs> go into that. Yeah, the Halo references were nonstop yeah, doing that nice. shit, and I really enjoyed that. You know, we we were all locked inside due to COVID and shit, so it's like you know, it gives us something to do. Uh, but that's that's we, we were doing the same thing, being stupid. 
you know, rolling around Day Z, same sort of thing, trying to keep us entertained uh-huh. while COVID <laughs> was rolling. Um, oh, uh, best times ever. That was the best COVID time of my down life. That's Peak it. life, yeah. Peak life for all gamers. It really was we, for we gamers. Even, we didn't was, even know. Yeah. We didn't oh. even know. Oh. I wish it would happen again. I miss playing 12 hours straight <laughs> yeah, a day every it. day. What's that word? I can have somebody walked out of the sneeze happen. and the whole department's been have to stay home for a week. God damn shame for that. Someone hit a bat in China, so everyone's, <laughs> everyone's home again. That's it. Yeah. Get it going. Get some well, going. Um, what have been some of the issues with or problems you faced with, you know, having a medieval server and, and trying to incorporate that? Because I'm sure you've got a lot more well, different problems than a normal DayZ server. Oh yeah, 100%. It's mainly, well at least the biggest thing for me as the person who manages all of the Discord and like administrative like rule side of the server and less of like the coding and stuff. It's really been just listening to the player feedback and knowing what people want to do and stuff. Um, because like if, if a thing is that you're doing in your server isn't popular, you don't have a server. It's the mentality that the customer is always right, you know? Like, you don't have a player base. You don't have an audience. They unless are the lifeblood. Necessary. Yeah, n- unless you necessarily, like, appease them. So you want to make sure everything is good for them because your server lives and dies on a good gameplay experience. So it's, like, spending me spending countless hours up at night, like, tweaking the rules and revising, like, thinking to myself, shit, how am I going to fix this? For, like the better of everyone you know because if they don't like this i need to fix it yep. well how do i fix it what is a better system to implement than the one i already have and that's still being done today uh, as we get new suggestions and people saying hey i don't like this like we made a polling channel and i put up polls to see what people like and don't like we have a plan for a 500 member um like event where we're gonna like mix zombies with medieval and we're gonna have an event where like it's called the walking plague i kind of have some like a lorn lore lorn lore oh, drawn up need for it dark army like army of darkness sorry incorporate it you have to that's what it you i'll have watch to it now i, I yeah. have to and we want to have like zombies take over like the map for like a whole week and yeah, just nice. see what happens you know see what the players do see how the factions react um, and you know, just make sure everyone has a good time, basically. That's it. Uh, and I know the server's only new, but uh, is there any of those moments that you've uh, that you experienced that you sort of gone, you know what? This is the reason why we built this server. Oh yeah, I mean, every raid weekend, primarily, I've seen all these people hop on, seen the server hit max pop, seen all these people having a good time, just. Uh, dicking around with their buddies in full chain mail and killing people, you know, it's like, this is why we did this, you know, to bring a, a period of history that me and the owner mutually love to Daisy, a game that we both love and adore and have been playing for years. You know, we want to mix both of them, like, you know, not only for our personal enjoyment and amusement and all of that, but to bring the experience to, you know, Daisy Xbox um, for all the people that you're like, shit, I want to just go around and beat people up as a knight. You know, or I want to be a cannibal in the woods, you know, like That's hiding it. from like the Inquisitors, like our Templar faction launched an Inquisition, whatever the hell that means. So I'm assuming they're just going to go around like burning heretics at the stake, <laughs> you know, it's like, thing, things like that, like seeing the, seeing the faction shit talk each other, like you're a heretic, you're, you're the spawn of Satan and like launching a crusade, like seeing factions interact with each other diplomatically it makes it all worthwhile yeah it really brings uh, enjoyment to me yeah uh, the know that your vision has has some form of completion mm-hmm. yeah. like uh, uh, appreciation is a good word for it yes a hundred percent um so how long has the server been running for how long has it been up since so we launched uh, in, on like January 5th of this year uh, so we've been up for like r- basically around three months now yep uh, and in that time we have grown from I think like a hundred members in our first month of operation so the entire month of January to now we're teetering on the edge of 500 
Um, very nice. So very very nice. Yeah, it's, it's I think going really well. After and this. People are having a good time. I hope so. Yeah, I, I do hope so. And I hope well, you guys all check it out as well and have a good time. Come for a run. Do you want to give us uh, an overall rundown of what the server's about? Um, you know, what, what the goal of the server is, that sort of thing? Well, the goal of the server is just to give everyone a good time, you know, have a good fun time role playing as a knight. You can be a blacksmith. You can be a, a fucking cannibal in the woods. Uh, you could be a wandering trader. You could be a healer. You could be a tavern worker. Uh, you can do anything. It's kind of it's kind of like Skyrim. We like to compare it to. It's like create your own adventure story, but for Xbox and DayZ. Yep. Uh, you can create your own faction. You can get like a bunch of your buddies together if you want. Create a faction, and you start as a tribe, and you can become a up to a tier five faction. You can become an empire. You can uh, own territories and fiefs like towns which you can make revenue and income off of you can tax your citizens and you can spend that money to buy improvements and equipment for your uh, your castles or your towns uh, we have a new update coming out soon that is going to bring uh, upgrades for towns which we don't have yet uh, but you can do it for castles like you can purchase a, a blacksmith shop that will give you like chainmail spawns and stuff um, you can buy uh, like a cow cattle pen that will give you income and you can like kill the spawns and cattle for food and stuff like that you can register a business and sell shit you know it's it's a really good time you can go to the two taverns that we have uh, you can have a bar fight and just get drunk at the pub people were very excited for that uh, and this new update we just launched we had uh, we have added a second safe zone that's themed off of a Roman uh, village from like the 500s and we you know, in our lore, Chernea is was at one point uh, owned territory of uh, Rome and the Byzantine Empire. So you know, there's leftover buildings. Like we have a big ass aqueduct that stretches across the map to the admin base, and we have uh, the, the second safe zone themed after the Roman village. And you know, there's like pillars and shit. And I mentioned the Roman Colosseum earlier. We plan to host gladiatorial battles in there. You know, it's we're having a good time. It's uh, it's very enriched in history, isn't it? Very enriched in history. Uh huh. We we try to make everything, if not 100% historically accurate, at least rooted and based in some form of actual history. Uh, so like even if it's not like 100% happened, like Chernea, it's a fictional land. Yep. It's actually a fictional landmass in of itself. Uh, if you would to that when you join our server, you can look at our server map that we made or that I made. Sorry. Yep. Um. It's like we try to make it so you can at least suspend your disbelief to make it seem like this is an actual like experience, you know, that it's like something that would be historically accurate, even if it's not. No, I'm super keen. I think that's um, that sounds like an absolutely wicked experience. Um, so how, yeah. mu how much how much time do you put into that discord a week? It sounds like you're a busy boy. <laughs> Uh, I've had some time off this past like week or two because I haven't had to do a lot of things. But like three weeks ago, like when we rolled out this update, yep. Actually, actually, no, less than that. I'm not really good with time, so maybe like two weeks ago. I don't know when we rolled out this update. I was up for like five hours. I stayed up from like 12 a.m. to five to like six or whatever. Uh, like making the rules, making the channels, and adding all this shit. Because um, I have to work in tandem with our coding team, which also spent a lot of time like coding in all the stuff, and I have to make sure all of it has a system and all of it planned out for it on the Discord. Like there's rules to go with everything. Um, we have our own custom bot off of the MeSeeks program, uh, which I pay my own money towards. Nice. And so I have to use that to like uh, like uh, code the embeds and stuff listed in our server. So it's all very you know, professionally organized and stuff and, you know, easy to look at unlike some other Discord servers I could mention. That's it, fancy. Uh, and not completely and utterly overcrowded with multitudes of channels like oh, the yeah. peasant <laughs> Discord. <laughs> I'm not naming any names. No, no, name mine. It's a, it's a, <laughs> it's probably got the most channels in any Discord. Um, if you need help, just let me know. Give me a ring. <laughs> You're in the, yeah. it, it, it oh, he needs help. It can't be helped. <laughs> we, just, we just let the spiral shift out of <laughs> out of control. Uh, so, what's the uh, future events, or what's the, what's the, any um, future plans for the server? 
we really just want to roll out more uh, things for the players to do, like ways to make money, uh, ways to progress your faction, and like buildings and things you can interact with. Like we want to add more buildings, like a tavern, uh, like more taverns, you know, like maybe a third safe zone in the future. Maybe we want to add, uh, fuck, I don't know, like a, an artificial lake or a river somewhere off of like uh, coding. You know, shit like that, uh, like a fishing village or something like that. Maybe expand the walls, because our map is walled in by a gigantic wall. Maybe expand it to the coast, and, you know, and let some of that, you know... Beach uh, feel. One thing that I'm passionate about, yeah, something I'm very passionate about is I want to incorporate, like, the Mongols or the Byzantine Empire into the lore of the world, which needs an update. Um, so, like, the next update I want to do, I want to focus on that, like... Because currently in our lore... The Mongol Empire is like taxing the shit out of the kingdom of Chernea, you know, and that's why they're broke as fuck. Oh, yeah. Um, I want to incorporate like, hey, they stop paying their tribute, like they're invading, you know, and I get like a bunch of people to be like a Mongol faction, and they like invade and like go to war with all the factions and see how they handle it. Do some stuff like that, because currently, everything that's going on right now, faction-wise, is everybody dunking on the Rorka faction. <laughs> One faction is getting Which, kicked on. They'll turn into the Mongols. Yeah, that's so the what are they called? Warka. <laughs> what are they called so thing? literally what happens is when we first launched the server, the two starting factions, which is owned by me and the, at the time, head admin, Baby Cakes, was the Kingdom of Chernea, which is like, you know, always going to exist because it's the country that the map is situated in. Yep. It's like Chernaris, but, you know, medieval. And then the Commune of Rog, which I led. Uh, but essentially what happened is there was a faction uh, ran by my friend Taco and it was the kingdom of Gorka and basically we merged and the result was the commune of Gorka but then it got overtaken by Vikings and now they're Viking <laughs> faction <laughs> empire thing everybody hates them and I do not blame them oh, we're going to have to go for yes. a, a CC <laughs> we're going to have to take a CC to this server we definitely Hell have yeah. to we're gonna we have it. Everyone's side. crusading against them. That's it. We'll just be a peasant horde, a wandering peasant horde. There you go. Be oh, bandits. Yeah. I mean, the skull, the skull. <laughs> flag, Ibags being the greedy peasant. Taken. Nominate whichever one you want. Ibags <laughs> being the greedy one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dad joke. I'll be Smiley as a peasant. That's it. Instead of Smiley's gonna get. Smiley, Smiley needs a coin. <laughs> he could be the beggar. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of that, like the Chernean faction currently going on right now, uh, the current king, he's like bringing his uh, fiance over to be like his queen and everything, which is actually the second time this has happened. Oh, that's so like, that's we're, sick. we're creating, we're creating love and romance on our server. Right that's now. it. Can, it, can we so they, like, get the on the okay, server's IRL. wife? Yes. Uh, oh! Peasant revolt. Oh, that's cool. Peasant revolt. Uh-huh. You, you're going to have to bring your queen on, Greedy. That's it. I'll bring my peasant yeah, I'll have to queen have the on. Flex. That's it. Get the flex. Peasant yeah. queen. Us and our bags. You can bags. buy castles across nah, the I, map. I can't afford just, a peasant. You know, I can't afford... <laughs> I can't afford oh, anything. I'm gonna maybe, maybe a shack on the road. <laughs> yeah. That's a your little, castle. That's it, and they'll lean to. Just a hay bale. <laughs> Just snuggle into a hay bale. You're <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we're coming to the end of the show. Anyone want to uh, drop anything before we purge the stage? Uh, I just want to say thank you guys for your time. Thank you for uh, letting me on here, and I hope you guys uh, come over and give us a good old visit and hope and have you have a good time. 100%. Can we, before before we do that, can we give a little shout-out to your... Do you want to sound off your, your team, your coders and your admin team? Yeah, big big shout-out to uh, my personal friend of God knows how long, Weary, who is the owner of this server. Uh, my friend's Flipper and Taco and Aaron, who helped make this server possible, as well as our coding team, uh, Sean and Kanik, who also de dedicated a lot of their time to coding for the server, as well as our admin team, our mod team. Big shout out to our head admin, Barrick, who devotes a lot of our, a lot of his time to this server and really makes it function very well. 100%, these people don't get paid, they do it for love, and um, 
I have their family hostage is why they don't get paid. Ah, I've got to try that. But the problem is, is if I try and do that with, with my crew here, they'll just ring up and say we don't want it back. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day... Yeah, uh, he's actually tried that a few times. Yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. I do feel... <laughs> Well, I do feel what your team feels, because, you know, none of us get paid either. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's only a matter of time until they unionize. It's all over. Oh, I don't know. Can I just say, yeah. can I just say, I, I actually feel, I feel bad that we have to, do we have to kill this one today. I feel really bad. Yeah, He's so, nice. so, I just, so. Well, no, we don't. No, I'm just still waiting now. <laughs> That's it. That's it. So uh, that's our uh, podcast just, done and dusted just want to know for the, the day. Discord, please. <laughs> we will. I will get the Discord oh, for shit. you. I will put it that's in me. the video. Uh, is assassinate everybody. Thank G you. GG, sir. <laughs> Bravo, you're back. Welcome. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's alive. Uh, but that's our show done and dusted. As said. We will put the Discord uh, in our video for YouTube. If not, it will be in our Discord. We'll get him to chock it up there. Um, if you want to come and join us, the password for the server is 6TPP. It's called the Peasants Podcast. You can come out. You'll spawn up the top. You can murder away, drive the cars. We're going to be oh, around for probably about 10, 15 Ugh. minutes. And then the server will get shut down. So if you want to come and punch on, uh, a big shout out to uh, Ignis for coming out. And the Feudal Age, it's called. The Feudal Age. Something that's uh, a little bit different on Xbox. Yeah, I took that. See that? Took it. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, where? Oh, took that. Oh, no, just giving you love. No, that's it. You fucking so, um. If you want to uh, get involved in that, we will advertise the server on our Discord. But ladies and gentlemen, that's the podcast done and dusted. We thank you for joining us. As I said, if you want to come and punch on, you are more than welcome to come and drive the cars. Server's going to be up for about 15 minutes. And uh, a big shout out to everyone who came along.